Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Hi, okay, I'm really sorry. I had to restart my computer because it was very slow. I don't know what happened. Okay, so, oh, I see the majority of the classes here. Nidia, hi, Iris. Ah, uh, Roxana, everyone is here, great. Okay, so let's continue. So remember last week we were doing a used to, correct? Yes. Yes. What is I used to, an action that we did in the past and? No more. Yes, or, but remember, an action we did in the past frequently. Yes, we, we did in the past frequently. But now we don't. Okay, let me open. Okay, so let's continue. Let me see. Do you see my screen right now? Let me. Do you see my screen? Yes, yes the platform. Yes, I do. Oh, yeah. Okay, great. Hold on. This one we did. So, so tell me, which is correct? Did you used to worry about money when you were younger? Did you used to worry about money when you were younger? Did you used to worry? about money when you were younger or did you use to about money when you were younger which is the correct second, second one no d right used no because we have did here mm -hmm. next which is correct did you used to follow politics five years ago did you used to followed politics five years ago did you mm. used to politics five years ago? The first one. The first one. The first one. Okay. The first one. Yes. Choose the best question to match each answer. I used to care a lot about my appearance. Now I'm too busy to care how I look. Choose the best question to match this answer. I used to care. I used to care a lot about my appearance. Now I'm too busy to care about how I look is the correct. Okay, so the question is, what did you used to care about when you were younger? What did you used to care about when you were younger? Did you used to care about your appearance? The first one. The first one. First one. Number four, complete the question. What kind of video games did you used to play when you were younger? Did you used to play when you were young, a teenager? I'm sorry. You used to play when you were a teenager. The second one. Yes, the second one. All right. So let's do video number two. It says lesson objective. Oh, we're going to learn about too many, too much, less, few, enough. Okay, so let's, that's what we're going to learn about today. Too many, too much, less, fewer, enough. Okay, let's watch the video. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class. Can you hear? Yes. Yeah. All right. Sure. Okay, yeah. let's watch the video then. You'll be able to describe problems in a city. You'll do this by using count and non-count nouns. Let me give you a quick example of this. There's too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. You'll also listen to an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. First of all, nouns. 
What are nouns? Well, nouns are people, places, or things. Pretty much everything that you see around you is considered a noun. And what do we mean by count nouns? Well, count nouns are simply all of those things, people, places, or things that you can easily count. So for example, when we think about cars, subway lanes, buses, those are nouns that you can easily count. Let me give you an example of other nouns that we can easily count. For example, we can count things like a pen, a computer, a bottle, a spoon, a desk, a cup, a television, a chair, shoe, a finger, flower, camera, stick, balloon, book, table, etc. Another thing that I would like to mention about count nouns is that we can easily change these count nouns into plurals by simply adding an S. Now let me point out what non-count nouns are. And just like I mentioned previously, count nouns are all of those things that you can count. People, places, or things that are easy to count, such as cars, subway lanes, or buses, like we see on the example. Now, with non-count nouns, what that means is that we're going to look at nouns that are difficult to count. So, for example, in our chart, we see things like traffic, things like pollution, public transportation, parking those are a little bit difficult to count so let me give you more examples of some of the things that cannot be counted quite easily and therefore we consider this non-count nouns so if we think about things like water wood ice air oxygen English Spanish these are subjects traffic furniture milk wine sugar rice meat flower, things like sports, soccer, all of these things are non-countable. They cannot be counted easily. Another thing that's important to mention about non-count nouns is that we don't add an S in order to ch change them to plural. They, they do not have a plural form. Next, what I would like to do is I would like to play an audio program for you so that you can listen to the perspective of some people about their city and remember that the goal of this class is to learn how to express problems that exist within a city for example there's too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars and we want to use count nouns and non count nouns to express uh, those ideas so we're gonna listen to that and I will have you answer a couple of questions about that The buses are old and slow, and they cause too much pollution. In cities with less pollution, people are healthier. There are too many cars. All the cars, taxis, and buses are a danger to bicyclists. There is too much traffic. There should be fewer cars, but I think that the biggest problem is parking. There just isn't enough parking. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to answer some questions about your city. And what I would like for you to do is to tell me whether there is a lot of traffic in your city. So I'm going to ask the question, is there a lot of traffic in your city? Are there many buses in your city? Are there enough police officers in your city? Is there too much pollution in your city? And as you're answering these questions that I just posted, I want you to identify the nouns that I'm using. So tell me whether the nouns that I'm using, whether they're count or non count. So for example, traffic is the first one. Is that count or non count? Uh, police officers, is that count or non count? Um, buses, is that count or non count? And pollution, is that count or non count? Okay, let's do it our way now.
Hold on. Do you see my screen right now? Yes, I can. Okay. Yes, Many. Okay, count noun. Do you know what is a count noun? Example, finger is countable, yes or no? Yes, finger is countable. Yes, one finger, two fingers, three fingers, four fingers, five fingers, it's countable. Countable. Yes. Um, let me see. Pupusas, is countable or no? Yes, it's countable. It's countable. It's countable now. Okay, money is countable or no? Countable. Uncountable. Money is not countable? It's countable. It's countable. Mm. It's countable. It's not, no, it's uncountable. Not countable. It's gone now. I don't know. Okay, who says yes? Tell me why it's countable. Or who says no? Tell me why. I think $10 is countable. Good. Okay. So good. Very I good. I think it's uh, countable oh, uh, now because uh, you can ask to someone uh, how much money do you have in your account, for example. Okay, good. Money is not countable. Yeah. Because you can't say one money, two money, three monies, four monies. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the units of money is countable. countable. What are the units of money? Dollars, cents, yeah. bills. Yeah. Correct? It's like water. Water is not countable. What is countable? The units of water. Gallons. Gla uh, cups. Correct? Correct, teacher. Okay, so what is the difference between many and too many? We everybody, you understand many, correct? Yes. In El Salvador, there are many mosquitoes. Correct? Yes. Okay, let me see. Jacqueline, hi. Are you there? Okay. Melissa Trujillo, are you there? Yes, I am. Melissa Trujillo, can you tell me something? There's many in your... Where do you work, Melissa? I forget. I'm sorry. Work? Yes, where do you work? I work I work in Acacepsa de RL. Okay, good. What is that? Uh, I don't know how do you say cooperativa financiera. Financial corporation. Financial corporation. Oh, okay. I put no no many. Okay, but anyways, <laughs> many is que. What is many in Spanish? Mucho. And what is too many? Demasiados. Demasiados. So what is the difference? Um, eh, too many is superlative. In... No. Too, too many is incountable. No, there's a difference. What do you prefer to have many friends or too many friends? Too many friends. Mm. Uh, maybe. <laughs> ¿Sabe Analice no está en español. ¿Qué es la diferencia? Bastante y demasiado. The difference is too many is a problem. This is two. Con dos dos. After two. No. 
Le voy a dar un ejemplo. ¿Quién ha dicho o ha oído antes? Ya te di demasiadas oportunidades. Ok. ¿Qué están dando a entender? Ya estuvo. Ya demasiado. It's a problem. It's right? not over. <laughs> uh -huh, it's over. Uh -huh. Oh, pues ya te di bastantes oportunidades. Que es... Pero cuando dice ya too many, ya es como ya. Yeah. Cuando uno dice too, indicates a problem. Okay. It indicates a problem. Let me see. Um, Roxana, oh no. Alejandra, how old are you? Um, 20, 25. <laughs> 25. 25, good. Alguien menos de 25? Who is the baby of the class? Nobody under 25? Jacqueline? Nidia? Alejandra is the baby. <laughs> Alejandra, is she the baby? Always. Yeah. Nidia, how old are you? I am 31. 31, 31, okay. Roxana, how old are you? I am 26 years old. Oh man, really? Alejandra is a baby. Okay. <laughs> Alejandra, do you have babies? No. Why? <laughs> Because I don't want to have a baby. Why? Yeah, ahora. No, I don't example, know. Example, <laughs> example, example. No, because no, you can say. Plan. <laughs> hmm? It's not my plan. Okay, good. Because I am too young. Very Correct? young. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Or too young. Como es demasiado joven para eso. I am too young. Yes? Yes, I'm too young. For I'm too young. Uh -huh. So remember, two indicates a problem. Can you tell me something? <laughs> what is a problem in, in the streets of El Salvador, of San Salvador? There is... There are... Traffic. Many... Trash. Okay, is traffic no. countable? Can you count traffic? No. No. So it's too much traffic. Too much traffic. Yes? Ya han pedido un Uber ahora pico. Siempre lo cancelan. And you say, why? Too much traffic. I won't do it. Why? Too much traffic. Too much traffic. Yes? También, the streets of El Salvador has too many holes. <laughs> Demasiado hoyos in the streets. Es de esquivar el más chiquito. <laughs> el, el menos chiquito. Yes, too many. Our teacher, the example is, it's too late. It's too late. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll give you an example. <coughs> Evelyn. Good evening. Hi, good evening, Evelyn. Evelyn, I remember you had a boyfriend in San Miguel, correct? No. You didn't no, have a boyfriend have in San Miguel? No? No, no. Oh, you don't, okay, forget. Do you have a boyfriend now? Yes. Okay, good. Do you have an ex-boyfriend? I have a boyfriend. Do you, do you have an ex-boyfriend? Yes. Okay. So imagine your ex-boyfriend calls you. Hello, Evelyn. And you, who is this? Don't go me. Remember? Oh, you. <laughs> what do you want? Oh, Evelyn, I still love you. And you say, man, it's too late. I continue mm -hmm. with my life. I have another boyfriend. I am happy. <laughs> 
yeah too many problems yes. and too many opportunities yes you caused too many problems i gave you too many opportunities you are too late it's too late baby now it's too late yeah so that means there's no going back too late the unit expression too bad you know you know too bad it's like saying mala suerte. Okay, so that, that's expression two. So uh, let me see, Roxana, what do you prefer to have? A lot of money or too much money? Too much money. You prefer to have too much money? Mm, yes. Okay. But remember, too much money can cause a problem. Yes. <laughs> look, look, look at Bill Gates. He has no life. He says, I am the richest man in the world. Y no puedo ir ni siquiera al super. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> it's like, um, I imagine the president of, well, any precedent is too too much responsibility. No life. Imagine the president of El Salvador. He has ten cars in front, ten cars behind. Twenty four seven. That's not. That's not good. Yes. Um. If if a man if a man takes a chicken, se roba un chicken, y le dan diez años, too many years or a lot of years? Too many years. Yeah, you say, man. I, I'm sorry, yo no sé si esto es chambre, es verdad de que van a pasar una ley para los que anden manejando ebrios. Que quieren ocho años. For me, it's good. It's great. Pero I think eight years is too many years. I, well, it depends. Because imagine if you kill somebody, oh, go forever. But if they catch you and you're drunk, I think one year is good. Because eight years, you're finished. No more family, no more children, no more job, nothing. You destroyed the family. Well, in my opinion, in my opinion, I think eight years is too many years. Because Amarero, que rentea, he only gets two months and it's okay. So, <laughs> okay. So that's the difference between too much and too many. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Yes, I get it. Y miren, y no solo yes, es para much y many, es para, se puede poner tú después de cualquier adjetivo. Example. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Is much less uncomfortable now? The second line, yes. Yes, that's what we're going to do in this moment, right? Ah, now. Okay, thank you. Okay, but right now let's go with two, two and another adverb, another uh, adjective. For example, let me see. Roxana. Yes. No, uh, Alvarado. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> Roxanne, oh, okay, you are in San Miguel in this moment, right? Yes, it's raining okay. right now. It's raining, oh, okay. Yes. Okay, look, people, El Salvador is hot. In general, yes. El Salvador is hot, but San Miguel is too hot. It's too hot. And Santa Rosa is too hot. It's hotter. <laughs> Have you ever gone to Santa Rosa? Um, I think, but I don't remember. I, I went to all parties in all of Oriente. Hmm. 
with my students. Uh, Roxana, do you buy sorpresas in the store? Sorry, I didn't listen. Do you buy those sorpresas bags in the store for you? No, I used to buy. Sorpresas. Okay, but now, now you don't buy? No. Why not? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> because you're too old for that. I'm not too old. <laughs> no, remember? Be, no, I mean, that's the expression. Ah, no, yeah, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I'm too old. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm too old. It's like me. Sometimes, sometimes in the, in the, in the supermarket, <laughs> I buy Gerber's for me. And my wife or somebody tells me, aren't you too old for, for Gerber's? He says, no, nope. I still like Gerber's. <laughs> technically, technically, yes, I am too old for Gerber. But yes. <laughs> yeah. Carmen, Lisette. Yes, teacher. Hi, do you party every weekend, every Saturday, no, every, every Friday and Saturday night, party, party, party? Sorry, if I... Do you party every weekend, no, every because... Friday and Saturday? Why not? No, I don't. No, I don't. Why? No, because I have to, to, no, because I enjoy the time with my daughter, so I okay. used to... I, 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 I do a lot of activity with her. Okay, very good. Pero quería que me dijera algo como I am too. <laughs> yeah. Okay, no, because I'm too tired of my Very good. Work. Yeah, very good. No, I don't do that. Why? Because I'm too tired. Or because my time is too valuable. You know? Okay, very good. Okay, um... What is another example? Um, ¿Por qué no puedes subir el árbol? Because you are too fat. <coughs> or because you are too skinny. Like, like Mark Anthony? Mark Anthony is too skinny, man. <laughs> yes? Demasiado seco. Mm. So, no, pero lo que quiero que le digo es too old, too fat, too skinny. Yes. I don't like reggaeton because that music is too stupid for me. Example. No, and it's true. I don't mm -hmm. like reggaeton because I think that music is too stupid. No stupid, not very stupid, it's too stupid. O sea, ahí topa, ya no puede haber más. O sea, Algo peor. Reggaeton paredes, tú estúpido. Sí. Yes. No me... um, I don't like to go to Metro Centro because it's always too full. Yes? The parking is too full. I don't like it. Yes. Always. <laughs> All right, okay, so now we have a preguntas. Hoy hasta ya aprendieron que es la diferencia de bastante y demasiado, ¿no? En español. Cuando, cuando uno dice demasiado, ya, ya rebalsó. Bueno, cuando decimos, hey, no, hombre, ya estuvo es demasiado, ¿no? Porque no decimos ella estuvo ya bastante. No, cuando decimos ya demasiado es que ya topamos. ¿Ya? Yes. Por eso vuelvo y repito. Cuando alguna vez dijeron o oyeron, no. I gave you too many chances. Ok, next we have less. Thank <laughs> you. 
Evelyn, how old are you? 29. 29. So Alejandra Milena is three years less than you, correct? Yes. Less than. Because Alejandra, you're 20, you're 26, correct? Almost, but. Oh no, you're 25. Oh no, so you're four years. So Alejandra is four years less than Evelyn. Yes, are you married? Maribel Pineda, are you married? Not teacher. You're not married? Oh, okay. Who is married? Oh, oh my God, the single class. No, I am married. <laughs> I am Nina, married. You're married, yeah. Nina, You told me you are 30, correct? Uh, 31. 31. How old is your husband? He has. He is. Yeah, he is 39. Okay, so you are eight years younger. Yes, I am. Or eight years less than your husband. So, okay. what is less? Menos que. Menos que. Menos que. Less than. Less than. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For example, class, <laughs> Cristiano Ronaldo is less than Messi, of course. Yes. Ya es. Es mi pregunta. Less than. <laughs> okay, do you understand less than? Yes. Less is menor or menos. Yes. Menor que. Menor que. Es, yes. que. es como un comparativo. Yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. For example. Um, Siempre se acompaña del dan. Yes. Less dan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Y cuando, y cuando se usa el almost. ¿Cómo? Es que estaba, estaba leyendo mi serial y decía, el que más te gusta, entonces el like almost. Like the, no se the most. Uh -huh. Ok, look. Le voy a decir algo rapidito. Ah, sí. What is big? Grande. Grande. Yeah, normal. Grande. Big, big is. Grande. Y bigger. El más grande. Y biggest. El más grande. El más grande. El más grande. El más grande. Okay, look at this. Look at this. Watch. Okay, look, California is big. Correct? Yeah. Right. Texas is bigger than, esto siempre va a ir junto, bigger than California. What is bigger than? Más grande. Grande. grande que. Más grande que. Comparative, yes. Más grande que California. And Alaska is the biggest. Superlative. Superlative. So. 
What is young? Chloe. Chloe. What is the comparative? Younger. 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 What is the superlative? Younger. Youngest. 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 So, Youngest. yes. Who is the youngest in the class? Alejandra. Alejandra. Yeah, I think Alejandra is the youngest in the class. Yes? Yes. Now, I have a question. Let me see. Melissa Trujillo. Yes, I am. Melissa, how many syllables in your name? Uh, three. Can you say them? So listen, Melissa is in three parts, right? Melissa. Three. Yes. yes. It is. Oh no, it is 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 bad today. It's okay, it is. I'm sorry, I forgot. She's sick. Or oh, she was in the bus. Oh, you're not in the bus, right, Iris? Oh no, I see the door. Perdón. No, no, no. Sí. It's okay. Iris, ¿cuántas mm -hmm. sílabas tiene su nombre? Mm, dos. Iris. Sí. Oscar. Yes. Two. Oscar. Okay, good. So in English, big is an adjective. Young is an adjective. Hot is an adjective. Oigan esta regla. If the subject, I'm sorry, if the adjective is one or two syllables, se pronuncia er. He asked. For example, example, oh. ugly. Oh. Okay, listen to this. Yo le voy a decir por qué. Ugly. Who's <coughs> intelligent? Okay, so we have we have intelligent, but si hiciéramos esta regla. El, el segundo tendría que ser intelligenter, ¿no? More intelligent because the intelligent has three sounds. Uh-huh. In. Four. Intelligent. So imagine one, two, three, four. Four syllables. Entonces, si el adjetivo es three syllables or more, Vamos a usar more. Example, beautiful. ¿Saben que es beautiful? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a pretty. Pretty. <laughs> okay, beautiful is three beautiful. syllables, right? Beautiful. So what is the comparative of beautiful, Genaro? <laughs> Hi. Hi. ¿Cuál sería comparativo eh, de beautiful? Very. More beautiful. No, 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 no. No. More, more beautiful. More beautiful because beautiful. If I say hot, hot, how many syllables? One. One. So what is the comparative of hot? Hotter. 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 So, que si es una o dos sílabas, ponemos er. Really? He asked. Yes. 
Si es tres o más sílabas, le agregamos more o most. Ok. Ok, thank you, teacher. Yeah, thank you're welcome. You. Ok, so for example, who is the most beautiful in the class? Of course, the teacher is the most beautiful in the class. <laughs> yeah. Um, hey, it's my example. <laughs> it's my example. No, I'm joking. Ok, so... For guard. <laughs> I'm sorry? Be beautiful is for guards? No. And handsome is for no? Is no. the same? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, incluso pretty se puede usar para hombres. Oh, really? Yeah, because a woman can say, oh, you have pretty eyes. Oh, um, yes. It's true. You have a pretty smile. Oh, I see. Yeah, so beautiful is more like... Um, it's okay. You can say, you can say, um, Brad Pitt is handsome or Brad Pitt is beautiful or, ¿Cómo se llama este Superman yes. que todo el amor está loca? Henry Cavill. Yeah, him. <laughs> yeah. How do you say papacito in English? <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you can say hunk. 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 You can say he mean? is a hunk. What's the meaning? Papacito. Really? Recuerde que papacito hunk. es caliche. Y que uh -huh. es caliche es informal. O sea, nunca va a haber una palabra idéntica. Mm -hmm. Puede haber una similar. Yes. Y esa a veces es la diferencia de traducir y interpretar. Por eso es que a veces no le recomiendo mucho a la gente que quieren aprender inglés viendo subtítulos. Mm. Porque ustedes pueden ver, oh man, y sale abajo, oh rayos. Mm -hmm. Y no, él, él no dijo rayos, él dijo, oh hombre, pero los subtítulos lo que hacen es interpretar. No traducir, ¿no? porque si se tradujera, no tuviera nada de lógica. Oh, hombre. Porque son expresiones, cuando es caliche, el caliche más que todo. Puchica. Si existiera puchica en inglés, tuviera como bastantes versiones de. Oh, man, damn. Oh, vive. ¿Me entienden? Uh -huh. Entonces, hunk es decir papacito. Hunk. He's a hunk. Okay. Okay. So listen, uh, according to Evelyn, San Miguel is hot, pero la unión is hotter than San Miguel, correct? Oh no, Roxana. Roxana was telling me that San Miguel is hot, correct? San Miguel is very hot, pero La Unión is hotter than San Miguel. Correct? Santa Rosa, Santa Rosa is hotter than San Miguel. Santa Rosa is hotter than San Miguel. Yes, imagine? it is. Yes. Otra cosa, please, please, cuando comparen, que tenga alguna similitud. Yes. No pueden comparar San Miguel con Alaska. Yes. No pueden decir, teacher, what is hotter? Where is hotter? In Alaska or San Miguel? No, man. Alaska <laughs> is never hot. Yes. Si van a, o, ¿Qué es más caro? ¿Una moto o una mansión en Santa Elena? Come on, man. No. Una moto se compara con otra moto. Yeah. No. ¿Qué es más caro? Ex expensive. What is more expensive? A Toyota or a Kia? Okay, maybe. Estamos en el mismo. Okay. Yes? Pero hay cosas que no se comparan. Por ejemplo, Messi o Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> you can't compare. Messi is the best. You can't compare. 
<laughs> yeah, like for example, what music is better, reggaeton or rock? Please, you can't compare. Okay. You can't compare yeah, Guns N' Roses. Than reggaeton. Of course. Like yes. But you can't compare Bad Bunny to Guns N' Roses. <laughs> Guns N' Roses is better than Bad Bunny. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you know what you compare for you what is better, Netflix or Disney? Netflix Netflix better than Disney. Yeah. I recently I recently yeah. got Disney and yeah, Mr. Disney because um it has a lot of nostalgia movies. Nostalgia. I had to be Splash. <laughs> Remember mm. Splash? Mm. No. I don't know. No. It's an old movie with Tom Hanks. Yuna Sirena. Okay. So let's continue. Which of the following is not a count noun? Bus. Can you count bus? One bus, two buses, three buses? Yes. yes. Subway line. Yes. Parking? Subway line. No. Oh. No. What are examples? What are some examples of non count nouns? Choose three options. Water is non count? I'm not yes. watching what you're talking about. I mean, it's another screen. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. No. What is it? Oops. Do you see now? Yes. Yes. Okay, so what are some examples of non count nouns? Choose three. Is water countable? Yes. It's non countable. It's non countable. Water, water Remember? wood, air, 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 air. Wood and hair. Air, no air. 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 Ahora, yeah. the units of water are countable? Yes. yes. The units. Well, okay. Because you can't say, I drink five waters. Yeah. You say, I That's drink water. five <laughs> glasses of water. Glasses. I drink three coffees. No. I drink three <laughs> cups of coffee. <laughs> Coffee cup. <laughs> Coffee cup. What are some examples of non count nouns? Choose three options. Desk, 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 camera, 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 Sugar is non countable, but the units are, right? What are the units of sugar? Pounds. Pounds. Or spoons. Cucharas. Spoons. How many spoons of sugar do you put in your coffee? No, one. <laughs> three. Can you have three? Oh my. No, I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Three. Wow. Okay, next it says, why do the buses cause too much pollution? The buses cause too much pollution because they are old. The buses are new, but they are in bad condition, or the there are too many buses. The first one. First one. The bus. First one. You know, eh, eso es, un, es algo tan, tan fácil de, de arreglar en este país si no lo hacen. It's simple. Si ven un bus tirando tanto humo, ahí mismo pararlo. Hey, sh sorry. So, fuera circulación hasta que lo arreglas. That's it. That's simple. But no, ahí están todos fumigating. No. Why is there too much traffic? Because there are too many bicycles? Because there are too many cars, because there are too many pedestrians. Because there are too many cars. Too many cars. Too many cars. 
yes. Can you tell me a problem? Well, uh, Evelyn, can you give me, Evelyn Mariela, can you give me an example using too many? There are too many cars. In Santa Tecla? That's all about. Okay, good. Genaro, okay, good. Give me an example with too expensive. Mm -hmm. For, for example, lleva a su esposa a comer a fiasca de Brasil. <laughs> you say no, no, mi Roma. Mm -hmm. Porque no fiasca de Brasil? Why not? It's very expensive. It's too expensive. Too, okay, too expensive. Good. Igual que están casados. <laughs> Ahora, the novios is different, you know. Vamos, que dijime amor de los colos. But you're married, don pollo, man. <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, okay, very good. You know, yes. Um, I want a Switch, a Nintendo Switch for my son. Yes, I want it for me. No, yo lo quiero, pero mi hijo no sabe que quiere uno, pero he needs one. <laughs> Yes, he needs a Nintendo Switch. But when I go to the store, it's too expensive. It's like $350 or something. It's too expensive. So, so I'm sorry, son. All right. Um, let me see. Daniel. Hi, teacher. Hello, Daniel. Do you go to La Campanera? Do you visit people in La Campanera? No, teacher. Why not? Uh, because I, I I live in I live in Chalchuapa, and and never never go from never go to La Campanera. Why not? But why not? La Campanera is beautiful, no? It's too dangerous. Uh, it's too dangerous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Solo maroso, hi. <laughs> okay, yes. Entonces, eso sería, no, I don't go to La Campanera. Why? Because it's too dangerous. Okay. It's, it's too dangerous. Yeah. It's too dangerous. Yeah. Daniel Palacios. Hi, teacher. Hi. Daniel Palacios. Do you drink liquor? Do you drink? Liquor. Uh, no, I, I, I know. Um, I don't drink. I don't drink to. No, no, I solo, no, I don't drink liquor. Oh, I don't know to drink. Do you smoke? Um, no. No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, I DM it. Why not? Because it's too. Um, but... Because is have um, hell. Too hell. It's too bad for my health. <laughs> Quise decir malo para la salud, demasiado malo para la okay, salud. Okay, es malo o demasiado, because it's too bad too, for my health. Too bad, my health. Mm -hmm. oh, ah, y ahí pueden ir muchos adjetivos. I don't smoke because it's too stupid. It's just, I don't smoke because it's too expensive. I don't smoke because it's, it's I don't know. It's, it's too Contamina. addictive. It's too addictive. Contamina. Because it's too contaminated. Yeah, too uh, contaminated. Too contaminated. Contaminated. Yes. I remember I used to smoke. And now me pregunto, why did I smoke? I, I don't know why. <laughs> but I remember I used to smoke. And okay. Very good. So I don't smoke because it's too... 
Okay, um, Evelyn, do you want to go? Evelyn, Mariela, do you want to live in San Miguel again? No, I don't. Why not? Because it's too hot and too small. <laughs> oh, when I'm not San Miguel, no, it's too hot. No. Uh, Evelyn, what, do you visit your family every weekend? No. Why not? Twice. I visit my family twice a month. But why not every every weekend? Because sometimes they my part my parents visit me. Come. Okay. Oh, I mean because it's too far, teacher. Because you know it's too far to go every weekend, and they and the gasoline in this moment is, is this too expensive. <laughs> yes. It's too expensive, it's true. Se acuerdan en, en la pandemia cuando estaba todo encerrado, 1.80 estaba la gasolina, I remember. Yeah, estaba caro. Yes, Creo que fue segunda vez en mi vida que le dije, fulémelo. <laughs> <laughs> y nunca más voy a saber cómo es sentir eso otra vez. Fulelo. No. Yes, be, um, I, okay, that's good. I don't go to San Miguel every weekend because it's too far. It's too expensive. Yes. Daniel Palacios doesn't go. Uh, no, I'm sorry. The other Daniel. Where's the other? Oh, Daniel Edgardo. He doesn't go to La Campanera because it's too, it's it's too, too, it's too dangerous. Yeah, yes. Yes. Daniel Palacio doesn't smoke because it's too bad for your health. Or it's too contaminated, yes. Um, Evelyn Mariela will not accept her ex-boyfriend because she gave him too many opportunities. <laughs> Correct? Usted se la dio o él se la dio? <laughs> ah, uh -huh. no, I'm joking, I'm joking. Um, uh, ¿qué más estaba aquí? Carmen Lisette, she doesn't party every weekend because she's too tired. And her time is very precious for her children. Yes. Me too, Carmen. I don't, I don't do anything on weekends because Saturday morning or Sunday morning at 6 a.m., my son... Papa, 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 let's go play. Yeah, yeah, let's go to the park. And I go to the park. Yes. <laughs> All right. Um, so do you understand the two? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. ¿Por qué se mató cierta persona? Because he was too depressed. Too depressed. Too sad. <laughs> Ahí va un perfecto ejemplo de lo que puede ser tú cuando es demasiado, tiene una mala consecuencia. Un, tiene un, un, un mal resultado, no a veces drástico, pero tiene un mal resultado, ¿ya? Yes? What happened to, uh, no sé quién, se, se ahorcó. Why? Because he was too depressed. He was too sad. Yes. Okay. Okay, class. Thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, we'll continue tomorrow. You tomorrow, Goodbye, teacher. teacher. Goodbye, Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, Have a great day. Bye-bye. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye